Hello, Jim Tech Bros. New Pogged In. This is from Tesco Mobile and it's the new Samsung A04S. It's one of their cheaper ranges and I actually have a A13 which I've been using here as well as a separate phone. And as you know, when you buy your phone, it's locked to the network as it clearly states there. So on the side here, choose Tesco Mobile as you can see. You've got 4G, 99% coverage, international calls, great value phones and plans, powered by the Tree Network, collect Tesco Club card points and over 400,000 customers. So the specs on the phone are 6.5 inch display, 52 and 2 on the cameras, front 5, 32 mem, 32 gigabytes memory, expandable storage up to 1 terabyte SD and you've got a big 5,000 milliamp hour battery which is really good. So... Inside the box, we have the device itself. So let's take this out here. And that's it there in the flesh. Looks really nice and clean all around. So you've got your volume controls here. Your unlocky here. This looks like it'll serve as your fingerprint reader as well. You've got your three cameras, which are slightly raised, as you can see. So it's not going to be an issue on the wobble front there with no case on as you can see up on top you've got a mic and over here you've got your sim card tray here which is where our sim will be going obviously and that's really it and on the bottom you've got a headphone jack which you don't see too often you've got another mic your usb-c port and of course your speakers there as well so that's pretty much it on the face of the phone. So we got to boot it up and put our information in and we'll get going. Well, let's see what else we get inside. So you get your SIM removal tool there. And you get in here. We will get just these here. So, if you want an English copy, you have to download, and you have other bits here. Alright, that's interesting. And of course, you got your cable here, which is looks decent enough as well, and the length. USB-C, USB-C, and that's really about it on the box there, and that's all there is. So, when you get the Tesco Mobile... You can get the app here, register to the phone, all that kind of stuff as you normally do. And that's pretty much it. And away you go. So we'll get it powered on, have a look at the features then, test it with the cameras and so on and everything else. Okay, when you get set up and get going, you're going to have a lot of pop-ups here on your phone. You're going to get your notifications. You're going to get app cloud here bombarding you with updates, your emails, configuration, all that kind of stuff there, backup, and that's what's going to happen when you do with any new smartphone. And just looking at all these here, all them games, lots of them. So it's up to you if you want to keep them or not, but that's expected. So then you're going to get your update as well there, Android 13. One UI Car 5 upgrade. So that's pretty much it. So we'll do that later on. Right, so next up we're going to go into the settings. Have a look at what's in there. So a software update as well, as we've just seen. So let's go through and see what else is on the phone. Now, you might notice there's a bigger chain on the bottom than the top, but it's even on this side here. And that's fine. That's typically the normal these days. Um, so you got your connections. So in here you've got your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Tesco Mobile, uh, Flight Mode, Data, all that kind of stuff there, SIM Card Manager, Hotspot and Tether, more connection settings. You've got your sounds and vibration. So you've got sound, vibrate and mute, Galaxy Bells, notification sound, space line, volume, call vibration, notification, vibration, pattern, TikTok, jeez, TikTok. Vibration, intensity, sound, system sound, vibration control, You've got sound quality effects, separate app sound, and other bits in there. So let's have a look in here. Let's have a listen. How loud the speakers are to start with.
it's loud enough so that will do the job you'll hear it so you've got your notification sounds Which is the one that you hear every Samsung phone? Anytime you're out, you hear the same one going off all the time, notification. Anyway, that's the notifications loud enough. You've got vibration intensity, so you can put that up to max for touch. Your haptics and all that kind of stuff. Sound and quality effects. So you've got Dolby Atmos for gaming, equalizer, upscaler and adapt sound. They're grayed out. Let's have a look in this here. So you've got pop, built in equalizer on your phone. So that's handy if your earbuds come with no equalizer. Looking at it that way, that's pretty cool. Now, in here, that's it in there. So notification status bar, do not disturb. So you can have your different kinds of notifications here. You've got brief and details, pop-ups and so on. And that's typical to normal in Android today. Your display, okay. You've got light and dark, brightness, dark mode settings, adaptive brightness, motion, smoothness, eye comfort, font, size and style. Have a look at those so you know what happens there. You drag this across, it gets bigger. And you've bold. So there we go. If you want. Alright, I come for shield, motion, smoothness, screen zoom, full screen apps, screen time out 30 seconds. What do we get on that? Up to 30 minutes. And touch sensitivity, touch sensitivity of the screen for use of screen protectors. So there's none on this, so we won't need that. So if you do get one, you can change it if you need to. Alright, so um back in here because I adapt the brightness so that will change to the scene behind or front of whatever the case may be which is handy so you can see a change in there so if I turn off that turn back on It should change, but be more into the sunlight and this is not artificial. Right, wallpaper and style. So you've got my wallpaper's gallery lock screen and colour palettes. Apply dark mode to wallpaper and explore more. So let's have a look at the gallery there. Nothing in there. And my wallpapers is obviously not going to be there, but they're real from us because we've not took pictures yet. So that's what's in there, and I'm going to go with that there. Home screen and lock screen. Thank you. Right. Teams. Okay. Okay, it's got my stuff new. And you have to sign in with your Samsung account in there. So it's going to cancel that for the moment. And of course, update that as well. So, back in here. Updates. Right. We try again. So you've got options there to pick from, 100 teams, uh, steady, selling teams, summer vacation, tropical vibes, colour. So you've got wallpapers down here on the bottom, and you've got your top section, eye compacts, which is cool. And menu, you can go in there when you sign in your Samsung account, all that kind of stuff in there. So your lock screen. So you've got your pin or face, smart, secure lock, wallpaper, clock style, rotate clock, widgets, contact information and notifications. Biometrics. So you've got face recognition, my face is already registered and your fingerprints, more biometrics, Google Play Protect, all that stuff in there. 
that's the last security update on this device so we'll start update must actually be a lot better than that one and the other stuff there digital well-being and all them other bits of their accessibility assistant menu talk back remote support user manual and about phone <coughs> and that's pretty much it in there so what we're going to do is look at the camera <coughs> So in the camera we've got portrait, photo, video and more. In the more we've got pro, panorama, food and macro and deco pick. Okay. So we'll go to photo. So in the photo you've got your flash. You've got your... You can zoom in twice. You can swipe across here to do that. So if you're in photo mode, what we can do is, you've got your 4.3, full, 1.16 and 9. So 16 and 9 is obviously the best to go. Let's have a look. Something small. We'll take a picture of our galaxy. The flash won't work well on that, so. So let's have a quick look at those there. We're gonna go out and take pictures night and day and video, so this is just a quick look here now. Okay, pictures seem decent enough. So we can add effects as well. And go back into the photo settings. In the settings, you've got swipe, you've got high efficiency pictures, selfies, reduced file size, auto HDR, grid lines, location tags, watermark, privacy permissions, reset, about contacts, all that kind of stuff in there. So that's pretty much it in there. Got your timer and the rest up there so and you've got your different filters in here and of course this will turn around to face you so back out with that video so you have fhd 60 30. now fhd 30 and hd 30. there's me hello and we go on to two. That's pretty much it in the video. In the settings, same again. That's pretty much it in there. So let's have a look at this on video. Looks pretty good. And you've got one more. And you can see it zooms in, it's picking up all the dust. Pretty good. One, two, four, and ten. Right back onto the photograph. I just want to have a look at something here. You can go up to 10x. Which isn't bad either. So that's pretty good. And that's pretty much what you've got in there. <coughs> All right, so what we're going to do is go and get some photographs and videos day and night to give you a proper idea of what to expect um, from this phone. And we'll have a look at it as we use it for a couple of days with our multitask and all that kind of stuff. I generally just use the phone for, and that's it. So we'll see you after the break.
This is the front facing camera in the dark. Just to give you an idea what you can expect. So this is a night recording on the best setting possible of course. Hello, this is Jim from Tech Buzz and the Samsung A04S front facing camera. 